Hello and welcome again as we consider yet another multiple choice question for IB Chemistry. Which electron transition in the hydrogen atom emission spectrum emits radiation with the longest wavelength? This question is built out of topic 2 for IB Chemistry where the focus is on understanding the emission spectrum of hydrogen. An activity you might have done where hydrogen is placed in a tube and electricity is passed through that tube and then in a dark room you look at that light through a diffraction grating and you see the emission spectrum of hydrogen, at least the visible lines associated with that spectrum. All of the lines that end up from transitions from higher levels to the level n equal to 2 gives you the four characteristic lines of the visible spectrum of hydrogen from n3 to n2. When an electron is excited from n2 to n3 and it drops back down, it emits a photon of a specific wavelength and frequency. And of course, you can calculate the energy using the relationship E is equal to h nu, where nu is the frequency. And you get all of the lines of the visible spectrum from transitions from these higher levels, n equal to 4, n equals to 5, n equals to 6. But what you do have to know also is that when transitions are from the higher levels to the ground state, the n equal to 1 level, and of course we need to draw this each level, the difference between one level and the next gets smaller as you go up, n equals 1. Transitions from higher levels to n equal to 1, they also happen. But they don't give you any of the lines that you can see in that visible spectrum that you might have looked at in class through a diffraction grating. Every time there's a transition from a higher level down to n equals to 1, this energy gap is so much bigger that the frequency associated with it is in a part of the electromagnetic spectrum that is beyond the violet part. It's in the ultraviolet part of the spectrum. And here you have the infrared part of the spectrum. And you should know, because it's a requirement in topic two of the IB chemistry guide, that as you go this way, the wavelengths increase. And as you go this way, the frequency decreases. So here you have higher frequencies. And this area here, once you get anything in the ultraviolet area, it means that it's high frequency, high energy. So the question here is, which electron transition in the hydrogen atom emission spectrum emits radiation with the longest wavelength? And so far, we haven't answered that question yet. Now, when you get something in the n equals to 1 level, it's going to be high frequency, but wavelength is going to be quite short, actually. So it's not going to be anything n equals to 1. What about n equals to 3 now? And that is where you will get your answer. Because transitions from higher levels to the level n equals 3 would give you lines in this infrared part of the spectrum. This part of the spectrum where you have big wavelength and low frequency. This is the lowest energy transition. This gives you lines in the infrared part of the spectrum. So the answer is going to be anything with a transition to n equals 3. Because that is where you are going to get stuff in the infrared part of the spectrum. And that is where you're going to have the highest wavelength. And that's what the question's asking. The longest wavelength or the highest wavelength. This entire question is calling upon your knowledge of the emission spectrum of hydrogen and also being able to relate that to your knowledge of the electromagnetic spectrum, knowing how frequency changes as you move from ultraviolet with the highest frequency to infrared with the lowest and how wavelength changes with the smallest wavelengths for ultraviolet and the highest or longest wavelengths for infrared. And because you get the longest wavelengths for infrared, it means you are searching then for a transition from higher levels to n equal to 3. Because from your knowledge of the hydrogen emission spectrum, you know that anything that transitions from higher levels to n equals 3 provides lines in the infrared part of the spectrum. So the answer to this question is D.